Now, here's a big one, number seven. This is, this is a big one. Pray for priests every day. I'll give you something real concrete. The more concrete a thing is, the more likely you are to do it. If you, if you leave a thing indeterminate, people don't do it. You know, say, oh, well, you must pray. They don't do it. Pray the rosary every day. I can say that. Take 15, 20 minutes, do it. It's easier to do it. It's a concrete thing, well-defined. Well, I'm telling you this. Pray for priests five minutes every day. Pray the chaplet of divine mercy. There's an even more concrete thing. Every day, pray the chaplet of divine mercy for priests. Uh, why should you do this? No priest, no Eucharist. And the Eucharist is the source, the center, and the summit of the church's life. No priest, no source of the church's life. No priest, no center of the church's life. No priest, no summit of the church's life. It's that simple. And by the way, that's the devil's end game in these times. Get rid of the priest so you can get rid of the Eucharist. And if you get rid of the Eucharist, you get rid of the power. And the world disintegrates into evil. You need to support your, pri your priest through prayer. I'm giving you something concrete now. Five minutes. Well, I'm, I'm busy. You know, people used to say that to me when I'd say, pray the rosary every day. They'd say, oh, but Father, I'm busy. I said, you think the Pope's busy? This was back in the days when John Paul was Pope. I used to say this. You know, he prays the whole rosary every day. You know, not five decades, 15, and now 20. You know, but you just pray five decades. But five minutes every day for your priest. Pray the chaplet of divine mercy every day for priests. They need your help. We can't do it without you. And I've already mentioned this, but number eight, pray the rosary every day. Oh, but I don't like the rosary. Well, it doesn't matter. Just do it. Like the Nike commercial says, right? Just do it. Why? It's powerful. Powerful. Uh, it, it's medicine for the soul. Why? It's the prayer of the gospel. You know, one of the most popular a uh, series I ever did it was on the rosary. M one of the most popular single talks I ever did was on the power of the rosary. Why? It's the power of the gospel. When you pray the rosary, you're praying the gospel, the good news. Jesus. Jesus is the good news. And that's so the rosary, what's the heart of the rosary? Jesus Christ. Don't believe it? Look at it. Just look at it. Look at meditation on the 20 mysteries. Right out of the gospel, the prayers, Our Father, Hail Mary, where did they come from? The gospel. You pray the rosary, you're praying the gospel. You're praying the good news, Jesus. And so you have power then to do good and avoid evil. So pray the rosary every day. If you haven't been doing it this year, do that.